Hey everyone, um, today I wanted to talk about how to cycle a fish tank because a lot of the times you go to the fish store and you're excited to bring home a fish but you don't know that you're supposed to cycle a tank and they end up dying or your cycle crashes and you don't know what happened or you just don't even know what the cycle is. Anyways, so it's basically called the nitrogen cycle which converts ammonia to nitrites into nitrates. I even made a little stoplight to make it easier for myself and you guys. So the first step to the cycle is going to be your ammonia, which is your red light. If you have high levels of ammonia or any ammonia at all, you really don't want fish in there because it'll kill them. But the good thing about ammonia is that's what starts off your cycle. So you do want some ammonia, but you don't really want it in there with your fish. I'm gonna also go over sources of ammonia because your cycle can't start without ammonia. Some people do do a fish in cycle, which fish make poop, which turns into ammonia. So you could also get your source of ammonia from fish in, which you'd have to do water changes daily for the first few weeks or so, just because you don't want the ammonia getting too high and killing them. You can also just sprinkle in food, like fish food, once it starts to break down, it'll turn into ammonia and you could just do it easier that way. It's also safer because you're not playing with little lives. The way I get my ammonia is I use alka soil. Normally alka soil you use with alkascaping and it does leach ammonia in the first few phases of startup. So I'll just leave it at that. I don't have to throw food in, it doesn't make a mess and I don't have to play with the little lives of little fishies. So red light, ammonia, don't put any fish in there. I mean, you can if you're doing a fish in cycle, but I recommend not just because there's a lot of mistakes that can happen and you can kill things. Okay, moving on to step two, it's nitrites. The one with the I, it always mixes me up because it's the same word with an A and I, but A comes before I, but in this cycle, it doesn't. Anyways, once you grow enough bacteria that will convert ammonia into nitrites, you Still don't want to add fish in there just because nitrites is also toxic to fish as well. Just not as toxic, but it still is. It's kind of like saying like, oh, this isn't as cancerous, but it'll still cause cancer. There's not much more to talk about nitrites. It's just the second phase. You still don't want to add fish, then move on from there. Then once you get enough bacteria to turn nitrites into nitrates, that is when you know your cycle has come to an end. Not necessarily an end, more like it's complete where you're safe to add fish, right? So the way you can get rid of nitrates, it's just, it's safe, but at higher levels, it can become more toxic to fish. With nitrates, you can use plants or water changes. Plants actually absorb nitrates so they can grow. That's what they use. Uh, water change will also get rid of the nitrates, just uh, whatever percentage, depending on what you're keeping. With me, I don't really do water changes to lower nitrates because um, the plants take it in. All of my tanks are aquascaped, but I do still do water changes just so I can get more even parameters and I know what's in my water and all that. I feel like I really butchered this topic, but to cap it off, ammonia, first level bad. Nitrites, you still don't want to put fish in there. Nitrates are safe. One second. I also forgot to mention what you use to test water. Um, this is what I use. It's the API Freshwater Kit. You pretty much put water into a little tube from your tank and you drop the solution in and it'll tell you the parameters in parts per million, even though I don't know what that means. But it comes with a cute little chart that tells you like what's zero, what's like 10 or you know, I'm just, I'm gonna get it cause I, <laughs> here's the little chart. It comes with super colorful, easy to read. It'll tell you for which one you're testing and what levels they're at. Is this backwards? No, it's not. Okay. Um, pretty much you want your ammonia at zero. You want your nitrates at zero as well and nitrates somewhere to be here. And then you can water change or get plants to lower the levels. The test strips just aren't as accurate. Everyone knows that, but no one likes to listen because all you gotta do is dip. 
I just really wanted to go over um, the nitrogen cycle and how to cycle your tank because when I first started off in fish keeping, I was the excited person that got the tank, threw in water, and the fish as well, and then wondered why they all died. I wish someone would have told me that you were supposed to cycle a tank before you bring your fish home, especially with betta fish because people like to keep them in smaller containers which ammonia builds up faster and they end up dying faster. So bring home your fish tank, buy a filter, let the filter run with the source of ammonia. The ammonia will turn into nitrites which another type of bacteria will turn nitrites into nitrates and plants or water changes will lower your nitrates and make your tank safe for fish. Why couldn't I just start off with that? I probably left out a lot of stuff but you know it is what it is. Sometimes it'd be like that. So next week I'll probably talk about the terrarium, which okay, I keep calling it a terrarium, but the correct term is vivarium because there's live plants and all that in there. So I wanna go over the setup, what I used and what's in there now and how it's functioning, how it's doing. I think that's it for this video. Oh, one more thing. If you guys like the t-shirt that I'm wearing, my cousin designed it. I'll leave the link in down there and you guys can get your own as well. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, or not. Like I said, I can't tell you what to do. Okay, like I said, one last thing before I leave. Um, I'm just super excited because these are super cool. I got a ton of reusable straws so I can save some turtles too. Um, I'm just gonna leave the link for them in the bio because who doesn't like saving turtles? Like I've saved like over at least 10 straws already. Don't forget to recycle too. That's good. Bye everyone.